objective of today's experiment is to test transistor using digital multimeter but this testing is bore testing bore testing means we will use a feature of digital multimeter to test transistor the transistor testing boards are given on digital multimeter so in today's video we will learn how to test transistor on the board using digital multimeter but another method this testing is called actually this ball testing ball testing what is the difference in this before we have learned emitter based testing in that testing we have connected emitter and base of this transistor we have not collect connected uh, collector we have connected only two leads or two electrodes of this now in board testing we will connect all three right but why this testing is called board testing because here we are going to use board npn and pnp board of this i'll show you here you can see now npn and pnp board to test our transistor so this testing is called board testing in this we have to select hfe mode this mode hfe right before for emitter based testing we have selected this diode mode or d position now we are going to select this hfe so i will rotate this switch to hfe position this hfe position will give you the ratio of currents that means there is no unit for this reading and here we have to insert our transistor three leads of this here look in e b and c right our b is in the middle so we will use this e b and c so we will take a transistor okay we have to check where is e means look for this tag this tag side is e central part means middle one is b and last one is c so we will insert this in npn board and pnp board so first i am inserting this in npn board i have inserted on this side this side npn board right and our reading is 0 0 so we will write this reading in npn board here in npn board what is my reading the reading is 0 0 0 we will write here now we will insert e b and c that means emitter base and collector in pnp board and we will take reading right here if you are getting npn 0 0 0 in npn board what does it mean that means our transistor is not npn right it will give you some reading in pnp board so now we will insert the same thing e b and c in pnp board you have to insert that properly in pnp board now look at this i have inserted this in this board this side pnp side and the reading is 141 right so we will write this reading in pnp board see in npn the reading is 000 and pnp the reading is 141 there is no unit for this right if you are getting some value in one board and another board if your reading is 000 right so from this we can say that this type of transistor secondly if your value is between 
50 502 500 your transistor is in good working condition okay we will write the type here that is pnp if you are getting reading 000 in npn that means it's not npn in pnp you are getting reading so your type is what pnp also from this transistor you can write its code its code is given on this it is printed here okay it is bfx88 so we will write this code here bfx88 right now you can repeat the same procedure for another transistor right you have to insert this in pnp and np one in one board you will get reading okay if you are getting reading in npn and if pnp is 000, zero, zero that means type of your transistor is npn right and if value is proper that means if it is between 50 and 500 that means your transistor is in good working condition so this is board testing of transistor thank you